Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Decoding here, and in today's video, we'll be looking at one of the first decentralized exchanges built on the Hedera network. That exchange is called SourceSwap, so let's jump straight into it. Okay, so SourceSwap really is hot off the press. It's only been live now for three days. It was launched on the 5th of August, 2022. Like I say, just three days ago from the time of recording this video. And I've been holding off cre creating and putting this video together um, because I wanted to demonstrate some of the features when it was live. So I'm really pleased that I've been able to have a tinker for the last few days and get to know what the features are and how it works. And I hope by the end of this video, you'll understand how to connect a wallet how to swap tokens, how to get involved with uh, liquidity pooling, and also yield farming, or crop circles as they call it. But before I jump into all of that, let's just open up some of my browsers here, um, or tabs should I say. I'm opened up on sourceswap.finance, that's their website. Links that I talk about in this video will all be in the description below. So if you uh, don't hear me say anything about the actual URL or anything like that, just look in the description, they'll all be there, don't worry. So this is SourceSwap, this is the main website. You can see here that SourceSwap public launch is live. Okay, so swap tokens in decentralized LPs, provide liquidity to earn interest, stake LP tokens in crop circles. We'll be doing all of that today. All good fun. Um, I have got a tab open here also on the Hedera website about um, DeFi, so decentralized finance and some other protocols there. Makes for a great read, so have a look at that understand a little bit more about uh, DEX and DeFi. Um, in your own time, a bit of bedtime reading for you. I've also got the HBAR Foundation website open here. This is a blog about HBAR Foundation and how they have supported SourceSwap. As you already know, HBAR Foundation also supports decoding so that I can create these videos more frequently and of a better quality. Okay, so anything the HBAR Foundation is involved with, I generally take a big, big interest in. So. Again, have a read of that blog as well. Like I say, uh, Source of Swap is now live. I've also got a page on my own website, uh, which is forward slash tutorials, forward slash getting started with Source of Swap. So please have a read of that. It's a step-by-step -step walkthrough of everything we'll be doing today. So I won't go through that. I find it a bit clunky when I keep referencing back to my website, but that page is live. This um, thumbnail here is my YouTube thumbnail. If you click it, it'll be the video I'm recording right now. Okay, so Source of Swap. We'll be looking at four things. Today, we will be connecting a wallet. So I'll be connecting Hashpack wallet because a few days ago, I created a video called Getting Started with Hashpack. It's very, very easy to connect a Hashpack wallet. One reason, Hashpack is actually um, one of the collaborators of the project, okay? So it's, you can understand that it's very, very easy to connect that wallet. So that's what we'll be doing. You can see here one of the other collaborators is Hedera. We've got Stata there and we've got Tune.fm. All good stuff, right? So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. This isn't a deep dive on Source of Swap. This is just getting you started, right? So let's connect a wallet. So in the top right-hand side of the screen here, let me just... Um, How's that? Is that a bit better? There you go. It's a little bit better. So top right of the screen, you've got a connect wallet. Click that and it'll pop up with this. Now you can pair with a code, you can pair with a QR code, or if you just click this link here, it will automatically uh, pull up your um, Chrome extension. Now this is important, by the way, I should have said this at the start. Open up sourceswap.finance in a Chrome browser. That way you can use the Hashpack Chrome extension. Okay, so I've got to open up in Chrome. Click on Hashback, it will open up Hashback here, it'll ask me to log in. So, um, there we go. Now it will say, what wallet would you like to connect? I'm gonna connect the Bobby wallet and approve. Okay, and that will sync there. You can see I've already got some bits and pieces going on here, but that is my wallet essentially. So I've now, I've now connected my HBAR wallet, my Hashback HBAR wallet, to source of swap. You can see there it's got my uh, ID at the top right. So the next step, what we want to do is swap tokens. So if you click on any of the call to actions, it's on in the navigation bar there, but if you scroll down a little bit, 
You've got swap tokens as a call to action. We'll be clicking that in a second. We've got um, provide liquidity. This is, so provide equal value parts of any two tokens receive LP tokens and then interest from swap fees. Okay, so we'll be doing that in a second. And then also we can stake in crop circles. So uh, yield farming, so we'll be doing that as well. But let's swap tokens, right? So we will be swapping some HBAR for source which is their token, right? But you can swap anything. So if you've got other tokens in your wallet, in your hashtag wallet, you can swap those for any other com combination, right? So let's um, go ahead and exchange 1,000 HBAR, which is currently a 1,393 source. Okay, so it's not quite one for one. You've got slippage. Don't worry too much about that because we're on the HBAR network, um, Hedera network, sorry, and it's, it's very, very quick, so slippage isn't all that, that you need to really worry about. Um, you've got minimum C, price impact. When you're happy with all of this, go ahead and just swap, okay? And what that will then go ahead and do, it will pop up with your hash, hash pack wallet again, and it'll ask you to approve that transaction. Only ever approve these transactions if you're 100% certain that it's uh, all good, okay? You say it's on the hash pack, saying done, and on the source of swap, it says token swap, okay? You can click done there as well. Okay, so now we've got in the Hashpack wallet, you can see now they've got 1,422 source. Good. Um, what we can now do is we can, now we've got it in the Hashpack wallet, we can now look at liquidity because we to, to get involved with um, the liquidity in source of swap, you need to have equal parts of two coins okay so it can be h bar and, and source it can be um any of these others actually in a different combination you've got create you've got create you've got um h bar x as well so let's go into liquidity and you've got supply and you've got my pools now it, your um lp token so your liquidity pools will only appear here if they are not staked in farming or in crop circles on, on um, source of swap. So look in supply and you'll see what I mean in a few moments. So we can now um, click in token B. So token A is HBAR, token B is source. So these are the, the tokens that I know I've got in my um, HPAC wallet. If I click in max on token B, that will show what the maximum amount of token, token A and B combined can be based on what I've got in my wallet, okay? So it needs to be equal parts of both coins, okay? And now you can click Supply. Again, Approve. Give it a second. And it should, when it's done, there we go, Transaction Successful, Happy Days. Go back in Hashpack Wallet, click Done. You see now that I've got a liquidity pool source wrapped to HBAR. So that is the HBAR source um, LP coin or token, should I say. And if we go in my pools now, it might have to update. There you go. Sometimes you need to refresh your, refresh your browser for it to um, uh, show up here. So uh, I have now added, uh, oh, sorry, I've, I've transferred or exchanged, should I say, my HBAR and my source tokens for LP tokens, so, so liquidity pool tokens, okay? And right from the offset, I will be... Um, making um, or, or, or earning interest, should I say, at the liquidity, okay? So you can see here, we've got GBP value, um, three pounds and a penny, pooled source, pooled H bar, and then you've got share of pool is under 1%, okay? So, next thing, we've now um, got some LP tokens. You can see that in my HPAC wallet, we've got the LP tokens here. Now, what we can do is we can have a look at yield farming. So you can click the navigation bar here on farm, or indeed you can go on the main page here, scroll down and click on stake in crop circles. Click on that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna look for the crop circle. You can search for it, you can look for it, it's down here for me. So HBAR source. This is the crop circle that I wanna get involved with. Okay, so you can see it's 170%, 100, nearly 171% um, APR. And you can see the liquidity is nearly 3 million in GBP, okay? So if you click on that, you then have an option to stake. So if you click stake, click on max, so it's gonna be all of it. These are the LP tokens that we were looking at. 
to balance stake approve I'm whizzing through this I really should just double check all of the numbers but um, like I said I've been tinkering for the last couple of days so I've kind of got a little bit um, laps on that so that's all worked okay just approve that and what we can now do if you look in the hbar source you can see that i've got some uh, i've got balance in there and i've got hbar and i've got source and also at the bottom here i've got earn so source um from whatever point i've just done that i've just earned 0.04 nearly five source and 0.0 nearly 0.02 hbar okay so um what you need to do is actually click in portfolio if you click in portfolio at any given time it'll actually give you a good understanding of what your portfolio is how much you've got staked and how much you're earning so that is kind of a rough and ready overview of the features of source of swap i've just shown you how you can connect your hpac wallet very very easy that was just one click right so once you've got it connected you can swap your tokens till the cows come home it's very very easy select your token a select your token b get it all swapped once you've got two different tokens you can then start looking at liquidity pools like i say you can transfer those tokens for an lp token and once you've got that you can then really put it to work and put it in yield farming or crop circles and really um, start making money having a play right so this isn't a financial advice i should have said that at the start of the video this is just um a fantastic um decentralized exchange uh DeFi on the hedera network i love it um have a look have a play have a tinker but do it sensibly and uh, make sure you're safe that is the end of the video thank you very much for watching if you've liked the video then please drop me a like Drop me a comment in the YouTube comments there. Um, I always like to get the feedback. It helps me create these videos um, and put stuff out there that you actually want to see. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.